everybody. So, like I said, I knew I was going to finish Bells really soon. Actually, I finished it that night I made that video. <laughs> but, so this is Bells by Jen Colonita. For those of you who haven't watched my other videos, I basically gave a review of this before I finished it. But, um, for those of you who haven't watched that video, I will review that part again. So, this is about a girl named... Isabel, and she's in North Carolina. She is from a family that's very not wealthy. She lives with her grandmother because her mother was killed when she was 10. And now, all of a sudden, her grandmother has to go to a nursing home, and she finds out that she's had these cousins that she never knew existed. So she has to go live with them, and they are a really wealthy family and the her uncle is a senator and so she goes from like here one extreme to the other extreme it's probably backwards I can't figure out my computer but um so she goes to live with her cousins and she's got a cousin who's older than her a cousin that's younger than her and a cousin who's exactly her age so, they're trying to figure out how to live their lives now. Like, one feels like her life is being completely interrupted and taken over. And then one is losing one life and all of a sudden coming into another. So, it's really about high how, like, high school treats them and how they move on to learn to live like a family. And I really liked this story. I know in my last review I was kind of iffy about it. I would probably still give this about 4 out of 5. I wasn't exactly oh, I need to read this book over again so much because I love it. But, the, like I said, how there was going to be a twist. There's a huge, huge twist. I'm not going to tell you what it is because then that would really, really spoil it. Do not, I repeat, do not read the excerpt from the next book before you finish this. Don't do it. Because I spoiled the book for myself by reading it. Because I was just, I don't know what came over me. I decided, oh, I'm going to read it. Because most times they don't give away what happened in the first book in the next summary. Oh, but they do. They do. And it made me really upset. And, I, like, I didn't read the next chapter, like, the first chapter of it. I just read this little excerpt. Bad, bad idea. Because it ruined my surprise. But the surprise was worth it. So I would give this book four out of five stars. The books that I'm, well, not the books. The book I'm reading right now is The Goddess Legacy by Amy Carter. And this is part of the Goddess Test trilogy series. I don't know what to call it because there's three books in the series, but she has a short little novella called The Goddess Hunt. And then this is a little novella too. I, little. It's like, it's like little novellas inside here about the characters. So there's The Goddess Test, The Goddess... Um, I don't want to get them out of order. Oh, Goddess Interrupted. Um, then there's the Goddess Inheritance, which doesn't come out till April. There's the Goddess Hunt, like I said, and then there's this one. So I'm literally like 30, 40 pages into this. So I can't really tell you anything about these right this story right now. But I could do a review on all of them together thus far. If you want me to do, like, the goddess test, goddess, um, interrupted in this one. Because I didn't read the goddess hunt because it's only, um, available for nooks. It's not in a hard copy. And I don't have a nook or a Kindle, as you probably could tell by my last e-reader video. But, um, so if you'd like a review on this when I finish this, or you want the whole series, let me know. Obviously, I know I have no subscribers right now, except... No one. So I don't know who's actually watching this video. But if you want to comment, go ahead and comment. Please subscribe. I will love you forever. <laughs> Thanks. So um, I hope you guys are having a great day. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.